Hey, it's Nancy. Welcome back to the You Can Do Nails blog channel. Today I'm going to show you how I dip over my builder gel extensions. I sculpted these using um, Young Nail Forms and Builder Gel. Um, this will be probably the last time that I wear this set. Um, and I'm going to follow up with three coats of the Sundara Nails Peel Off Base Coat that I stock in my shop, the You Can Do Nails Boutique. So I have the extensions, gel top coat, and three layers of peel base. Now for the dips, I'm using this chunky glitter by Nola Dips. It's called Aaron Rose Tilt Dawn. Nola Dips has been a very good vendor so far for the shop. I just love all of their unique foils and glitters like this one. Um, this one is a very pretty light pink iridescent glitter. It is absolutely gorgeous. And sometimes when I'm picking out Manny colors, I'll look for a chunky glitter that I haven't used yet and then look for a coordinating um, solid or shimmer. And so for the solid, I'm using the solid from Ally and Issy Boutique Dips. It's called Kate. And Ally and Issy is this awesome Canadian dip company. Um, I brought in a ton of their products to try and help them expand more um, into the US market. And this is just a really pretty pink mauve. So for my base, I'm using Risen Legacy's Dip Base Coat because it's slow drying, which is perfect for nail art, like the Glitter Ombre. I also stock it in my shop, and I'm definitely proud to stock their liquids because they never get contaminated and they're just great. Um, the base is also fairly low odor. And I'm going to pour over the dips into a cupcake liner because my nails are so long. Um, you might get a little less coverage um, when pouring over, um, but that's fine. So now I'll do glitter on my thumb and ring finger. And depending on the glitter, sometimes I like to pour over on the first layer. So I'm going to pour over and lightly tap. Now I'm going to go in and press down with a baggie. And I already really love these colors together. So I'm going in for my second layer of glitter. Oh my God, look how pretty. I poured a thin layer of glitter into the cupcake liner. 
I'm gonna gently lay in. you can shake to bring some of the bigger glitter pieces to the top. And you might have to go a little bit thicker on the base with the glitter. I feel like a lot of the base gets stuck kind of in between the glitter pieces. definitely feel like a little princess. I'll definitely try to make sure I get the edges. It's just really hard to have stiletto nails and work with these chunky glitters. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. Um, it's hard getting the glitters to stay on the curved pointy surface. Um, sometimes I really have to finagle. Gosh, doesn't this raw glitter just look so good? And I did also set this up in the shop as a mani kit, um, so you can buy it as one product with both of these colors together. Just make sure you don't press too hard while the base is still wet so that the glitter slides around. toothpick, get off any stray glitter pieces. You can also grab some tweezers like I'm doing with this piece that extends past my cuticles. So if any uh, difficult pieces are sticking up, you can remove them and then just fill them in. Um, so I decided I'm gonna do a glitter ombre to kind of fill in some of the space for my grown out apex. Um, so I painted the base about three quarters of the way on the nail and I'm going to tap on the glitter with this inexpensive eyeshadow brush. So gorgeous. And so I wanna add some glitter pieces um, because it looks a little bit sparse. So I'm going to paint another coat of the base and use a cuticle stick um, to get a little bit of the base on the tip and then gently pick up and place some of these glitter pieces. I 
And I would love to know if you also use builder gel extensions or just overlay and dip over it. Um, this has just become my favorite way um, to do my nails because I get the length and the structure from the builder gel. I can wear them out for a few weeks and then use the peel base to change out the colors more frequently um, without messing up the extensions. So it's been working out really well for me. Um, I had you guys to blame for it because I didn't even know what builder gel was until everybody in the Facebook groups got me super hyped up on it. And this is where it really helps to have a slow drying base like the Ritz and Legacy base because it gives you plenty of time to work and place the glitters without it drying too fast. I'm going to encapsulate to protect this gorgeous glitter. Making sure that I brush off any specks of glitter so that I don't contaminate the clear. So this is a two ounce clear. Um, I do stock the one ounce size in the shop. And this clear is very, very clear. And it's been consistently clear, so it's, it's definitely a go-to for me. Now I like to pick up a decent amount of base when encapsulating in clear, especially over the glitters. And encapsulating in clear is super important because when you go to file, you can file through the glitters and expose the silver inner piece of the glitter, which I've done many, many times. So now I'm pressing down with the baggie again to get the glitter to lay as flat as possible. And after it dries fully, I'm going to take my stiff nail brush and scrub like crazy. I normally do this over my dust collector. Now I'm going in with my Risen Legacy Activator. 
and I like to apply a really healthy amount to the whole nail, including the sides. So I filed and buffed off camera. I'm going to do a gel top coat, because nothing's as shiny as gel. But first, I'm going to go in with my Young Nails Swipe to prep for the top coat. And it also helps get off any specks. brushing off these specks of lint because these lint-free wipes are not lint-free. And so my secret weapon to have this not peel off is the Young Nails Protein Bond. It just helps the gel top coat stick. And you want to be really, really careful not to get this on your skin um, because it does have heme. Slowly, carefully. So now I'm going in with my Sparkle & Co gel base, which I also stock in the shop. And this will also help the top coat not to peel. Make sure that you go in with a really thin layer so that it's not running everywhere. Of course, be careful not to get this on your skin as well. And after I apply this to all fingers, I'm going to cure the base in my Kiara Sky lamp. And now I'm going in with my Sparkle & Co gel top coat. And I usually start with my index finger and do my thumb last so that it doesn't end up running to the sides. Once I apply this to all fingers, go ahead and cure the top coat. And it's super shiny. And thank you so much for watching.